Hi there, I'm gonna be going over the tutorial for the Blender Light Gun add-on, something I've been working on for the last couple of months now. Basically, it's an add-on that lets you take the active camera in your scene and use the shift and tilde button to essentially aim your camera. You're gonna see the crosshairs in the center. You can basically point the light somewhere, right there. You can specify, I want a point light. I want it to be white, power 1000, radius one meter change the various diffuse volume and specular and then you can create a light there and I made this based on trying to light giant scenes where there's lots of lights to add in and it was very cumbersome to create a light and move it manually to each spot um, and so this is kind of a solution to that and it has other features as well so the first main functionality is this where you can use these crosshairs to point and click and select a light uh, and spawn it there. And what it does essentially is it uh, it casts a ray from the center of this camera, um, kind of like a ray of light that's invisible. And then it detects whenever it hits a mesh object. And when it intersects with a mesh object, it stores the X, Y, Z location of that intersection. And then it calculates the surface normal of that surface on the mesh right there. And then it orientates the light to be normal to the surface at that point. So if I go to spotlight and I want it to be, let's say like green, I can then take this point here and create a light. And now I have a spotlight that's perfectly normal to that surface. All right. Now, if I wanted to go a little bit further, if I wanted to, let's say, I'll work on this area over here. If I wanted a couple lights, right? I wanted a couple lights that are red and I want them to be let's say link together. There's a link lights together option. So I can aim this crosshair here. Okay. And you'll see these lights are now linked together. And I can then go to the subsection here and I can then edit all of these lights all at the same time, as well as their spot sizes, and their radii and their power, okay? Now it's kind of annoying to have to deal with uh, only lights that go off not, uh, totally normal to that surface. And so what I've created as well is different modes. So none mode will basically be the standard normal to the surface light creation. And then if you go to orbit mode, you can basically create a light at the surface, but a certain fixed distance away, which you can tweak with the orbit distance here. And you can create any light you want at pointing at that surface at a certain distance. And then you can take the uh, empty that it's parented to, and you can angle it however you want from that object there. Okay, so if you let's say you wanted to say you wanted to aim it at this SPI helmet here, right? You want to spot orbit mode. I want it to maybe be like two meters away, and then I'll create a light. There it is. And then I can then angle it however I want, fixated at this point here. Alright, but let's say let's say you wanted to get a bit more uh, a little bit more accurate with it, there's also camera mode. And so what this does is it generates uh, a light exactly where this is facing. So if I want to get like right here, I can create a light. And then now that light has been created right where the camera is, facing directly where that camera is looking at. That way you can basically fly around you can get some nice shots. And really get really custom with how your lights are set up very quickly. Uh, and if you want to know how I'm creating lights really quick, I basically right click on the create light button. And I have created a shortcut to the mouse button. And so there's a little button on the side of my mouse where I can select and uh, create a light that way. Now. It's a little bit annoying if you don't know what your lights are going to look like. Um, and 
to circumvent that, I've tried to make some sort of a, a preview light option where um, if your computer is strong enough and Blender can handle it, you can then uh, enable preview mode. And it'll kind of do this strobe effect for a while until you're in fly camera mode. And then it's relatively stable. But it's essentially doing a ton of math and shooting ray casts continuously from the camera whenever it moves. And then it generates the light normal to the surface wherever the inter it intersects. And so you can generate real-time lights. And let's say I wanted to create a light here. And I wanted to edit the color, get an idea of what the color might look like. Uh, I can also alter the, the diffuse, the specular of it. Uh, I can also generate the radius, right? Um, I can also link them together as well. So if I wanted to create a bunch of lights like this, there we go. And now all those lights are linked together. They're in their own little uh, collection together. And I can click on one of them and I can then further tweak those set of lights I just generated. Uh, but it gives you a, a lot clearer idea of uh, what those lights will look like uh, before you create them. And so that's kind of nice. Uh, but that's none preview mode. Uh, and the next one would be camera preview mode. And so right now I have it on point light. So I can fly that point light around and get an idea of what my scene might look like with the point light. Or you can set it to spotlight mode and you can control that spotlight. Basically be however you want it to be. And then you can also tweak a lot of these settings as well. So you can change the spot size. You can change the radii of the light. And you can see it in his, his visor there. It's, it's uh, changing. You can change the blend mode. You can change show cone. All right, so that's how you can um, create various lights and control them with the camera and see kind of how your, your scene is going to look based on that. And now next would be orbit mode, which is kind of intensive for computers at the moment. Uh, it might lag your machine if you don't have a good enough machine, um, but it basically does the same thing as the none mode where it generates a empty and a light at the surface of the ray cast and then generates it at a fixed distance. So you can kind of play with um, how far away you want something, what color you want it to be, um, you can generate, um, you can change the shape. It'll give you a really clear idea of, of uh, what your light's going to look like. You can have it be a spotlight. You can uh, make it as big as you want. You can make it as bright as you want, uh, all in real time. So that way you have a very clear idea um, what your scene's going to look like when you generate this light. And it's a lot better than uh, not using preview mode and then just creating a light and being like, oh, no, you know, I really wanted my light right here. And then trying to go in and uh, delete this light that you made. Um, it can kind of be annoying. And so I wanted to make a preview light to kind of help users kind of get an idea of, of what their scene's going to look like. Um, and it's running really smooth right now because this is a pretty basic scene. Uh, but if you have a very large scene, I very, very... Uh, strongly recommend you to, uh, if you're going to use preview mode, point at a certain location without preview mode on and then preview it and then start tweaking the settings while it's still. Because if you start moving the camera around while it's previewing, it'll lag your blender a lot um, because it is it does a whole lot of math really quick. And I'll try to make it more efficient later, but for now, um, this is how it is. Uh, and other than that, there are a couple... Uh, features as well. Let me load this up here. Okay, so let's say that you have some lights that you really like. Let's say we have a green point light there. Let's say we have a red spotlight with a certain size here. Let's get an idea of what it's going to look like. Let's say it's here, okay? Now let's make an area light that's an ellipse. That's like three meters by two meters, and it's gonna be pink, all right? And then let's say orbit mode, sure. Let's get an idea of what that's gonna look like. 
Okay. So let's say we got some of those lights and you say, hey, I don't want to have to remember what settings these are. Well, you can click a light and you can clone settings from a light. And this will copy all settings from this light and copy them into this panel. So now you can go and create more of those lights. Just make sure that you're in the same mode. I think I'm missing norm, none over here. Um, so if you really like this pink area light, you can click that. Boom. And I was in orbit mode when I made that. I can make more of those if I want. And so that way, um, you can clone stuff without having to check uh, each option in here and trying to transfer all of this stuff over um, that way. And if you get stuck and you want to just go back to the basics, there's a reset to default button, which generates a just a white point light with default settings. And it kind of clears this whole thing for you. All right, and that's just about it. I hope this is helpful um, in showing you how this tool is working. And I don't know what else I'm going to add to it, but for now, this should do as a, as a rough tutorial. So let me know if you have any questions uh, or comments, and I'll do the best I can to respond. Thanks.